Hello everyone, I missed you so much back with the Ahram Modern School Primary 3 stage. Today's our session is about prepositions of movement. Let's start. The first preposition we have today is up. As you can see in the picture, the ball is going up the stairs. So can you see the arrow? Yeah. When I say up, it goes uh, up the stairs like this bear. Can you see? I think the, pic the picture will help you more. Next, the opposite of up is down. I think most of you use these words. We go down the stairs like this girl. The ball is going down. And we can use it also when we are having fun in the garden, sliding. Can you see? Can you slide down the slide? So the girl here or the kids are sliding and going down. Next, we have the word over. Over, like what you see in the picture now, the cat jumps over the plant or over the flowers. Okay, uh, it's up, but it jumps over, maybe without touching the plant, like the bird here is flying over the blocks. Next, we have under. Look at the picture. What sentence could be here? Yeah, the ball is under the table. The bee, I think it's a bee, it's under the bench. Okay, next we have around. Can you see the arrow? It goes around the cube or around this block. Look at the rabbit to understand more. The rabbit goes in a circle around the tree. Next preposition we have into. Into. Like the ball here. The ball rolled into the box. So the ball now is inside and we put it into the box. The girl jumps into the swimming pool. We can also use some other sentences like when you put something into your bag. So you put it inside it into. Opposite of into, out of out of like this ball is out of the box the fish here jumps out of the boat and can you see the mouse it goes out of i can also tell more sentences like when i say get out your pencil out of your pencil case so you get it out and you show it to the teacher now you get it out Next, we have the word through, through. What is through? It's not inside or in, no, but it goes through something. Like the ball here goes through this cylinder or the ball goes through the ring. Like when I describe the uh, bird, for example, I can say, the bird flies through the window, so it goes away and it flew from the room through the window to go outside. Okay, now it's our time with the booklet. Prepositions of movement, we use them to show which direction uh, a person or thing is moving in so we can see the pictures now of the different prepositions let's exercise more and practice here in exercise D it helps you to understand more okay we have some words in this uh, rectangle and we're going to choose from them to complete the sentences. Number one, 
The boy here, he is going. In the building. Can you see? He's going into. Excellent. I can hear your answers. Into the building. But the girl, she's, she's coming. Yeah, the opposite of into is out of. Excellent. Great. Number three. He is going in the hill. Can you see? He's going up. Climbing now. Number four. She is going down the hill. Five. She is walking. Huh? Yeah, around the water. Great. But the boy, he is walking through the water. Excellent. Okay, number seven. The boy here, we also we have here opposites. The boy up. So he is walking over the bridge but the girl is walking under the bridge great now we have here a picture you can use it to write some directions about going from police station to drugstore or to school so we can use different prepositions maybe over the bridge maybe through the park maybe um, uh, up, uh, under the bridge yeah we can use different prepositions I can leave it for you to think about it and here in exercise F you're going to look at the map in exercise E again and answer the question to write some sentences and now this is the end of our video thank you for watching Meet you soon.